Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. Here we are again today is Friday the 29th, January 29th. Wow, here we are again and I'm so glad to be visiting with you for this period of time. Speaking about time, oh, if I could turn back time, oh, do you ever think about that? Wow, if I could turn back time, so many things would be so different. So many things I would tell my younger self. Oh, yes. Oh, if I could only turn back time. But, time marches on. Second by second by second. Now, we all have the same amount of time in a day. When I was younger, I used to think, oh, these people that are, you know, man, I have to go to college for four years? Gee, I'd like to be a veterinarian, but, wow, all that time I've just been studying? Wow, that's, yeah, I want to live life. I want to get on with life. Oh, I'm, I'm just too busy for that. I got to hurry. Wow. I missed out a lot thinking that way. Well, now that I'm older and hopefully a little wiser, I've learned we've all got the same 24 hours in a day. Some people use their time very wisely. My brother studied four years in college and another six years for chiropractic school. And he went on to become a good chiropractor, making a good livelihood. Several others, my granddaughter, she studied, put the time in to be uh, become a hairdresser. And now, oh my goodness, she does such beautiful hairstyles. She is amazing. So today, I want to talk to you about timing and how, yes, we do have enough time. I'm going to read a devotion. This is out of Jesus Calling book. Trust me enough to spend ample time with me, pushing back the demands of the day. Refuse to feel guilty about something that is so pleasing to me, the king of the universe. Because I am omnipotent, I am able to bend time and events in your favor. I am able to bend time and events in your favor. You will find that you can accomplish more in less time after you have given yourself to me in rich communion. Also, as you align yourself with my perspective, you can sort out what is important and what is not. Don't fall into the trap of being constantly on the go. Many, many things people do in my name have no value in my kingdom. To avoid doing meaningless works, stay in continual communication with me. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Now that is Psalms 38, I'm sorry, Psalms 32, 8. I will instruct Suzanne and teach Suzanne in the way Suzanne should go. I will guide Suzanne with my eye. Now it's good to write scriptures out like this and keep a little booklet. And highlight your name there. Put your name in where it says you. And it's amazing how it enriches your Bible study. You're making it personal to you. Of course, the Bible is open for all. You know, none of us is more important than the other, but it brings it closer to home. I enjoy studying that way. It's, it has found out to be um, very beneficial to me. You have the time, make it happen. You have the time, make it happen. Speaking of which, I ordered a book, 50, uh, 52 Weeks Through the Bible, How to Study the Bible. And in it, it has, like week one, you are reading scriptures in Genesis, and you read like one or two a day, and then on Saturday... It's catch-up day in case you missed a day. And then it has beautiful questions for even 
deeper thinking and deeper study, which I find to be very beneficial. So when I get that book, I'm going to talk to you more about it. And maybe there's some of you that would like to join in on that with me in the readings. I can give you the readings. And during that week, you can do that. What? What? You have the time? Oh, of course you have the time. We just read about that, didn't we? Yes. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that devotion today. And I hope you will honor God in studying his word and communing with him. And write out this verse and put your name in. Get a little tablet like this. They're only a dollar at the dollar store and there's plenty of room to write. And this can be your little prayer room booklet. I kind of turned this into also my prayer room. I'm starting to put things on the wall. It's just a good way to study. All right, everyone. Well, I have worked on my Elena wrap. And I think I might be done. I wanted to ask your opinion. So let me grab it. Okay, this is what I have left of my second skein and let me grab it here and see uh, the yardage was 344 so that's 688 yards that I've used I'm thinking this might be enough I may decide to do maybe mm, maybe a half of another what do you think let me see if I can Get this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna straighten out the edges. I was gonna do another little edging, but you really don't need it. I think it looks great the way it is, but look at this. Let me see if I can back up further. Oh, there we go. It comes down to about a little bit past my waist. Now this is um, probably gonna be nice for, let me get untangled. <laughs> Alright, this is probably going to be nice for walking around. It feels really comfortable. Here it is on my back. And uh, as you can see, it well goes over the shoulder on both sides. I put on one of my husband's shirts real quick. It's kind of help not be so busy so you can actually see this. Let me sit down. Okay. So what do you think? Should I add a little bit more? I'm sitting down now and it's, yeah, it, the the ends are right on my lap, nice and comfortable. I don't, maybe I don't need to. So it took, um, like I said, this is with 688 yards. Each of my rolls were 344 yards and it was a medium weight four. Now, since this one turned out so nice, I am anxious to make another one, to start another one. And I'm going to do it in the bloom yarn that Cinnamon and Stitches had did one in the bloom, which is a three-weight yarn. Wow, that one is very pretty, too. It actually looks like little flowers in it. And I know I'll be working on that one a lot because you're anxious to see the different color changes. So what do you think? Ta-da! How about that? Party time, right? I finished it. I got to do my end in here, but yay. Wow. My cousin, I can't wait to send it to her. You know, it's just going to bring such joy to her. And it always makes me cry because bringing joy to someone else, oh, there's no feeling like it in the world. Oh, my goodness. All right, everyone. This is Suzanne. I'm God Crochet and Chatter. Thank you for listening. May the good Lord blessing keep you till we meet again. I will see you tomorrow, Lord willing, on God Crochet and Chatter. Have a blessed evening, everyone. Bye.